Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fantastic day. Or so they say. That's what they tell me. Everyone's having a great day and a great new year. Righty O. We were doing stuff. I remember this game. It's Bloodborne, the smash hit of 2022. Got him, chat. Get some stream raiders going too. Not a great place to fight a large guy. Uh, but... You must remember, he is very dangerous, but he is very slow. However, these other two guys are not slow, and I don't know how they got involved in this fight. I'll tell you this, I don't appreciate it. Me and uh, me and the big boy here were having a thing. He really interfered. Cameron, hello, who can? I mean, I, I, I made an update on Discord. You know, I try to do that. I slept for like 14 hours, um, which is highly unusual. I rarely sleep more than five, six. Kind of implications that has. I should pay attention to the game. Hey, uh, so not. I mean, who can? I don't. I. I don't know. Not really. No. I don't know. Again, I, I posted some some updates. Captain, hello. Who can? Hello, Cameron. Hello. Welcome, day crew, to a bonus stream. Probably won't be too. You know, a couple hours. Probably. Nothing big. We are low on blood vials. I mean, nothing to be sorry. Like, hey, okay, we're here to have a good time. You know what? You know, just uh, we're here to have a good time, not to. You know. Reality be uh, be funky sometimes. What can I say? You're drafting games for the first 22 and two league. Any sleepers? No, just go all in on Elden Ring, Captain. I mean, all in. Um, and also put a big hunk of chips down on Hightail. That is going to be a really big one that not a lot of people know about or talking about in our circles. Elden Ring is going to get... He's going to score incredibly. Cameron, that's what I like to hear. Ooh. For Horizon Forbidden... I mean, going with AAA stuff is always a, a, a fair bet. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I wonder where Horizon Forbidden West is going to end up on my own personal radar. But that doesn't matter for critical drafting, of course. The game pre... Uh, just from the pre-footage I've seen and what I know about Horizon and what I know about the first game, because I played through the first game. I think for my for the, the my personal Dan prediction is that on the Dan radar it's going to score like an eight and eight two five or so, but that's irrelevant to drafting it for a fantasy league, obviously. That was weird. My picture just blinked out there for a second. Okay, great. Another sweet thing happening. I need to get a new HD mic. God, I hope it's not the Elgato. You might buy Elden Ring for Xbox since you bought a Series X recently. Uh, if you have, if you can, PC is the preferred method of play. Tina's Wastelands seems like a really solid eight to me. I think I'm gonna play that and have fun, but I mean, it's Borderlands with Dungeons and Dragons, which you know that seems cool and all. Uh, I, I would go with the other heavy hitters, God of War, Breath of the Wild 2, Curse of the Wild. Hey, Snufkin, what's up? I got a blub shop eyeball. What do we owe the pleasure? Well, Pretendous One, actually, it's because I've had an awful day so far, so you get the bonus stream. <clears throat> I just gave up at doing other things, because they all seem cursed right now, so... Uh, you get a couple bonus hours here in the day. We'll be back tonight, obviously, if you don't want to hang out today. God of War is not so hot. I mean, I don't think there's been any announcement at all, but yes. Expected release is uh, holiday 2022 on the rumor mills and everything for, for both those titles. Also, Starfield would probably be a good one to get in there, too, on your picks. This is We're talking about fantasy critical drafting here, okay? Not my own personal beliefs about what these things are going to score or anything, but... People do these fantasy Metacritic pools that they that they like a lot. Um, where they draft games based on how well they think they're going to be scoring. So that's what we're talking about here. This has nothing to do with my own personal thoughts on any of these games. But that's true, Seeds, yeah. You're here live during the day, and there is a stream, so all those things are true. You love Borderlands, so Wonderland should be fun. I agree. Borderlands, uh, uh, I think Wonderlands does look fun. I think it looks like an 825 to 85 fun. Welcome. What is it? With the, uh, you know, obviously this is just, I haven't played it. I don't know, we're just spitballing here. Cameron, I know I'm not into it either. I don't do it. I mean, I guess I, I guess it's weird for me anyway. I'm a critic, right? So what the hell sense does it make for me to do something like that? But anyway, I know a lot of people do it, so that's what we were talking about. People do like fantasy draft leagues, like football, like fantasy football, but with uh, game scores where you draft the games and then you see how they do against each other. I don't know. That seems kind of fun. It's in the, in the same way Final Fantasy football is fun, right? Having been a critic for 20 years, I, I kind of, I get pretty good at predicting stuff, uh, even without playing the games, just based on pre-footage and, and stuff like that. I'm not saying I'm a master or anything, but you know, I'd like to think that I'd be do pretty good in one of those leagues. I should try one sometime.
blood vials. Well, yeah, the D&D definitely adds another element to it. If it was just another Borderlands game, I don't know. I think there's some... I like Borderlands, but there's you gotta, you gotta spice it up a little bit. I mean, for tennis one, like, I, I do fantasy football, right? So this is, like, cool in the same way, I guess. I might have fun with it. Although it would be weird, because I couldn't pick any games that I reviewed. It would be cheating. Yeah, people have have talked about Sifu a lot in the pre... I haven't played Sifu yet, and I know people got to the hands-on preview, so I can't... I don't know where I'm at on that one. I wouldn't draft it very high. Pokemon Legends? Oh, that one I would not. I would not. Even assuming that we get a, a that we get a Pokemon bump, you know, because of the brand uh, from some places, I would say that game makes me nervous. Uh, I would not go all in on that one. I'd keep that as like, you know, I'd draft that as like, where at the same point I'd draft in fantasy, like where i draft my defense, maybe. Pongbot, happy new year to you and welcome. Alright, we need a couple of blood vials here, let's chill out for a sec. Sifu is a game I'm very interested in playing, but I wouldn't pick it blind on a fantasy score list. I don't know where you guys do these fantasy score lists either. I want to get in on one of these. Yeah, I'm done being cautiously optimistic about Pokemon. That, that ship has passed for me a long time ago. They got my cautious optimism for a decade, all right? That's about when I stopped giving it. Now they have my cautious trepidation instead. Bayo 3, that's a very solid pick, Leaf. Ollie Ollie World. Mm, yeah, okay. Saints Row. Good pick on the Saints Row. I think that'll score, you know... I think that'll... Like, that's like an 8-5. Suicide Squad. Yeah, you're gonna get that, you know, that Marvel... Welcome. Not, not Marvel. Oh, God. Comic book. Yeah, Superheroes. Um, that'll probably do very well. FF6 Remaster. That's like cheating. Are people even gonna review that? <laughs> Oh, Bayo, Bay I think Bayo will make this year. They've had an eternity. They chose to reveal the footage, Captain Stubbs, because they knew that we were actually going to release this year. That's how I see it. That said, 2022, like 2021, I mean, if, if COVID keeps doing what it's doing, Delays will be all over the place again. So, that's a reality we have to face. I do think that we're going to have a lot of really, really great games this year. Some are known, some are unknown.
But again, all this is subject to change. People don't realize, I, I think they realize, but they don't realize how, how much COVID has destroyed everything. I mean, it's destroyed everything and everything, right? But but in games, like games just got, can you know, games got canned that never got announced. Publishers backed out. All, all kinds of All kinds of stuff that happens on the business end of things that may not be obvious. If Starfield's coming. Starfield will hit its release date. Uh, and hopefully that scores well. Hopefully it's a good game. I mean, I'm going to have Game Pass forever, so... I'm down. Let's go. Uh, Azel, I had attempted to order groceries. Because I'm not going anywhere, because I'm sick. And... It's like negative 20 out. And a dog ate. A dog destroyed them all. So. Well, I think people understand about internal delays, Cameron. That what they don't understand is that publisher deals got like you know canceled for games to to happen. And yeah, I think Stranger of Paradise is actually going to score really well, Leaf. I think that was a bad thing for you to do. Because you know that at every outlet, the Neo reviewer is going to get stuck on that game. And they probably also like Final Fantasy. And they're probably also very willing to accommodate a nonsensical, non-existent, or ridiculous story. Because they've already played Neo. I think that game will score high on the basis of its action chops. Uh, and huge amounts of content. Uh, Azel, yeah, it's a total shame. And the guy ran. Like, I opened my door. Listen, I, I, there was a total of about 30 seconds from the time that the groceries got dropped off to the time when I opened my door. And in that period, the dog was able to destroy pretty much everything. I don't know how. I don't know what kind of dog it was. Have fun, M321, and be safe. I got the dog's name. And, you know, I yelled after the guy, but he was already... A, he bailed. Let's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> Have fun at Spidey. Anyway, yeah, 2021 was lots of delays and cancellations and games that people will never know about getting canceled because timelines didn't sync up. Yada, yada, yada. I really hope 2022 is not like that. It may happen. Omicron is everywhere. Oh my god. You know, the Kirk Hammer is a, uh, is a weapon I don't love, honestly, in this game. It's so unwieldy. Seeds, yeah, super mad and fortunate. I mean, shit, I don't even, I don't know. I might have COVID right now. I don't know. Hopefully Dying Light 2 is good. I have zero expectations for that game. If it's good, great. Uh, I don't expect much from that one. That game always, has always seemed to me to be a case of extreme overambition. Which is fine, you know, reach for the stars and all that. No, Slothkin, I did not. Bioshock 4. That's not called Bioshock 4. Uh, we'll definitely see a new Bioshock soon, in the opinion of Dan. Could that get delayed too? You know, everything anybody says can be complete bold these days because of the delay cycle. If Omicron does what they say it's going to do, then we're going to add another six months to game dev maybe, who knows.
That's the only reason I don't like going on the record saying things, because we are in interesting times that change rapidly. <clears throat> Hi, K-Dubs. Oh, uh, you know, this is a bonus stream. Whatever happens here, happens here. I find playing Souls games and Bloodborne and stuff like that quite meditative. I seriously, somebody's got it in for me, K does. I don't know how, I don't know how that happened. Like, it's, uh, it's... After it happened, I was like, this, this, this can't be real. We're living in a simulation. You know what I mean? Genesis 1, I think you'll get your Bioshock 4. Although I don't think that'll be the name of it. You know, K-Dubs, I like, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I like that. I like that framing. Same with Dragon Age. I, I'd, I would, if I were you, I would hold out less hope for the Dragon Age than the Bioshock. Um, based on nothing but Dan's own internal speculation, as I am wont to do. That's um, that's certainly a title that we've seen some some things for. I wouldn't get your hopes up too hard for that one. Ooh, I can look like Father Gascoigne. Do I want to spend the insight on this stuff though? That's the question, right? That's insight doesn't come easy. The gas coin gear, but Yeah, that's those are things. Those are things. I think I might want to get this gas coin gear just to look like Father Gascoin, right? That's let's do that. I don't even care if it's better than what I'm wearing. Sometimes it's all about style, especially in this game. Actually, yeah, the cap is worse, and this is also well, it's kind of worse. But we're more stylish. Exactly, K-Dubs. It's about style. It's about nothing but style. Oh, we need blood vials. That, just, that was one part of the game I didn't, I didn't like so much. Farming blood vials, but, you know, it's just like grass. Ugh. I like the scarf. 
Me too. Hey, Pretendus One, I am really glad you made it, okay? I, I don't seem to be... Whatever I have, it's not... It can't be nearly as bad as what you went through, so... Uh, I'm sitting here with some sniffles and some other mild maladies. Not nothing compared to what you had. So don't 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 even compare the two. I am very grateful your health recovered. We were all pulling for you here in D Squad. Yeah, and I'm glad that Elden Ring has the flask system. Flask system plus. You might say. Also, one other quirk about Bloodborne. You shouldn't have to go back to the Hunter's Dream to do a reset, right? If you want to just do a uh, bonfire reset, I should be able to sit at a, at a lantern. That's a pain in the butt. Even with the reduced load times, like, it's still a pain. Tetsuda, what up, yo? We're just doing a, you know, a mild daytime stream here. Um, we're only streaming tonight, too, of course. stream will occur as planned I don't know Snufkin there's a lot of emotes now I don't know are you are you a follower or are you subbed if you're subbed you get more emotes obviously but I do have follower emotes too and animated emotes man I got there's all kinds of stuff and, uh, of course, we're always building to that more subs equal more more emote cap ever, as we reach new thresholds. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bit ones. Those are great, too, yeah. So at different bit thresholds, you unlock emotes as well. You should have a bunch like that. You should have some of those, Snufkin. I, I don't, I don't take them away. Maybe Amazon's just deciding to be mean to me today, like everything else. <clears throat> I didn't get the memo he was supposed to go down the bridge, huh? This is a damn curse! I mean, yeah, there you go. Snufkin, I believe that you just solved the problem. You just... you, you solved the riddle. Okay, I hit that guy. Dead on with the Kirk hammer. Didn't even phase him. What's up with that? Come on, chat. See, that's what's supposed to happen. Nom nom. I guess we could just buy vials with our cash here, which is what we're doing. Do, do, do. <clears throat> I 
You never. I, I don't like the hammer either, Kate. If you if you missed it, we chose to use the hammer um, as part of the uh, New Year's Day bonus. I, I think the bigger weapons, until you get to the like Logarius wheel or the pizza cutter, are uh, are not as good. The saw cleaver is is probably the like seriously the saw cleaver. You can go through the whole game with the saw cleaver with relative ease. It's a very powerful weapon. Rock and roll. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome. It is good to see you. I'm, I mean, I'm not really, <laughs> but thank you. Somewhat. I slept for like 14 hours, so. I don't know. I'm glad that you think I'm feeling better. That That's good, that's promising. What's happening here? What indeed? Nice and nuisance. What indeed? What is ever happening here? Welcome, what is? You know what we like to say around here: "Welcome home, good hunter." The saw is really good. Saw has like is like the perfect combination of speed and power. I also I think the Kirk hammer is a pretty freaking weak weapon. Uh, but again, it was chosen during the New Year's Day stream, so we're running with it. Later on in the game, when they become accessible, we'll use pizza cutter or Logarius wheel. For wheel. Hey, wheels, wheel's awesome. Wheel's a lot of fun. I can crush things with that thing. Uh, I forget when I can get that, though. Can't get that till New Game Plus, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, that was nice of you. Thank you. It's all your fault. What is ha what is happening right now? Oh my god. Now, pretend this one. I already said forget the cane. I hate the cane. I do not like playing cane. Alright, K-Dubs, it's a sweet weapon, I remember that. It goes smashy-smash at close range, very good. In fact, I think they should not have had the cane available as a beginner weapon in this game, because I think a lot of cool players decided to take the item for that exact reason, and then they got turned off with the game, because the cane is a much more difficult playthrough than the other two weapon choices. And I think by putting it as a newbie weapon, along with the front-loaded difficulty in this game, I think a lot of people may have chosen not to play this game based on that beginning than would have really enjoyed it had they not taken the cane. So, I'm actually ups I, I hate the cane for numerous reasons. I'm an anti-cane. I do like finesse weapons, K-Dubs. I do. Occasionally. I don't like the fact that they let you... That they set you... A, a, there's no indication in the early game that the cane is going to be 
a different kind of experience. See, look at it. Happened to Noise of Nuisance. I, 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 I like these games to be challenging and all that stuff. I constantly say that. But I also think there's no reason to to give the player a challenge of uh, burden of knowledge before they begin the game. That That is... That's above and beyond. I think playing with the, uh, the cane is super cool, but it's not for beginners, and it shouldn't be an option there. Have it be a weapon that comes after, like, a boss or something. And again, I don't want any difficulty dialed down. I want all the challenges to remain intact. I just... I want to set players up for success from the beginning. Hey, what up, Shaz? Warning, Bloodborne spoilers. LOL. Oh god. This place is just way too frisky, isn't it? Oh, reheating pizza? Hell yeah. This is going to be a short stream since it's the afternoon stream. I figure we got about an hour and a half left. You know, I love dogs, Shaz, but today, on this day, on this particular day, I am unhappy with doggos. <laughs> And yeah, that was day two pizza that was planned for K-Dubs. That's like, it was a power play. You're not the witch. Stay away from me. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, the dude did not stick around. In fact, he ran. I'm... I'm mildly irritated. <laughs> it's been a confluence of bad luck these last few days. Yeah, right? You know, so we can get on with the year, you know? I, I hear that. So I don't have the headache today, but I am more congested than I was yesterday, and I, and I slept for like 14 hours, and the average Dan sleep sesh is like 6 hours, maybe 5, so that's really weird. Did you know that it was shattered by someone or something? It's a rumor I heard. This boss fight is underwhelming. I don't think so. It's only because we know it, K-Dubs. This is what this is like a gimmick fight, okay? And From Software loves those. They've been part of the DNA forever. And I think. They got massively overshadowed as From moved more into the highly technical, uh, much more rigorous boss encounters over the years. But there's a place for there's a place for these goofy gimmick fights, I think, across the board. Not every boss fight has to be the Nameless King. All right. Uh, Pretendous one. There's actually two of them, and they can revive each other. And they do teleport and go invisible. Exit dust. 
Best from software game so far. Yes. I, uh, I believe that that was going to change very soon. You believe that as well when they announced Sekiro, but we were wrong, were we? I wasn't wrong. I never, I never said that about Sekiro. I am going on the record saying it about Elden Ring. Duly noted. I mean, I'm sure we'll learn more about the... about all el things Elden Ring related very soon. As it is only a month away. Uh, you know, uh, interestingly enough, kid, that was the first time I did this fight. It was probably my favorite time I did the fight because I had no idea about the mechanics of it. Once you understand there are two witches and that they can, like, you know, use spells in tandem and that they summon the adds, it's not, uh, it's not a big mystery, right? But... First time I did it, I was like, what the hell is going on? Very well, let me... By the way, you finished Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate and the DLC in around three days. My god, what a trip. Thanks for that recommendation. Wait, did I recommend it? <laughs> uh. I kind of did. Fair. Fair. Uh. I'll take that. I accept that. I doubt you could even imagine it, yes. Anyway, yeah, good to see you, by the way, Exit Dust. Gee, I gave it a solid 8.75. I mean, hey, reviews are one person's opinion. Which is why I always tell people to try to find a reviewer whose taste that you align with and use that as the metric, not some art, not, not a number. Although, obviously, in standout cases, like, I mean, obviously, if a game gets a 10 or something, I'm gonna take notice. Mistian, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. No, oh, aren't you a little? It looks like this guy's a little ants in his pants, huh? I don't believe in aggregates? Like, what do you mean believe in? I I've gone over this example before, pretentious one. And again, I'm not gonna name names, but what if you gave Dark Souls 2, for instance, to another person who, you know, couldn't even, could not engage with the game's mechanics and didn't get past the last giant? Would you want them reviewing the game? Probably not. It wouldn't be a useful review. But I always see the case argued that, yes, you should get every kind of player's playstyle into a review. Um, I just don't think that's realistic. Which is why I'm all for having somebody with experience with a franchise or game style be the preferred reviewer. And you can't just say, like, you know, have ten people review it. These games are like 80, you know, some of these games are 80 hours, 40 hours, 80 hours, like, sure, talk about it after the fact, but like... I mean, it's a big commitment. Especially for, like, you know, Embargo Day. <sighs> oh. 
like, hey, I always, I'm always a defender of scored reviews. I believe in scored reviews. I think that the number is useful. I don't know if the number is useful to gaming enthusiasts, like people who are in this channel right now. It is highly useful for uh, for people who might not engage as passionately or as in depth with games as we do. Uh, Shaz, that is one demographic, which I, I believe that the score is very helpful to them. 100%. That is one demographic that I think that just having a score with no knowledge of the games is completely fine and useful. Right? That way you don't end up with a Bart Simpson scenario where you get uh, Challenge Golf instead of whatever it was. Death, whatever. I, pretend, I used to write for Forbes Pretentious One. I consider myself a specialist. And the people who are in the Forbes gaming community are, are specialists as well. Bone Storm. Thank you, Ravenna. Uh, before Game Informer, I was writing for Forbes Games, actually. How did that not knock him down? Where did this man get the, that wonderful poise? There we go. That's what I was looking for. But we still gotta go get our Blood Echoes back. And I think there's a, a lake rune we have to grab here, too, while we're here. This place is super dangerous, though, at low levels, which is why I tend to run through it, kill the hag, come back and get the items afterward. Any one of these executioners can be a very lethal encounter. They do drop mad vials and gems and a lot of other good stuff, too. So this is actually a pretty good spot to come and grab some vials if you need them. Better than the spot we were at a minute ago. But there are some risks. Early on. These guys don't mess around. And as you can see, my timing with the Kirk hammer is... Less than impeccable. Normally you don't have to wind up so early on a, on a prediction with most of the weapons in this game, but the big, hot, the big heavy weapons in this game, I think, aren't as good as a lot of the standard uh, speedier options. As a heavy weapons... Enthusiast, kind of. Oh, well, Ludwig's, yes. Obviously, the Moonlight Greatsword is something I talk about with uh, From Software all the time. My first question to Miyazaki every year, um, or every time there's a game I get to talk to him about, is always: Is Moonlight Greatsword going to be in the game? It's been a, it's it's an ongoing thing now for me. That's a, for those of you who don't know, the Moonlight Greatsword is a From Software Easter Egg weapon that has been included in many of their products long before the Souls games. Uh, you can go back and get it in Kingsfield and stuff like that, etc. Well, Exit, I think I ask a lot of really good questions. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get to talk to him for Elden Ring. <clears throat> What is it? Very well. 
I want some vit, I want some strength, I want some end. Okay, now we're gonna go get that that rune out there because we got the rune thing. So we got one more trip out there. I hope everyone's having a good afternoon. My afternoon is basically just, we're just, I decided to do a quick stream because, you know, <laughs> because a dog ate my homework. <clears throat> prove it? What do you want me to prove? I threw it all, I mean, I, I had to go clean it up and throw out the stuff. You're just playing Ghost? That's awesome. You know, I've never played that game. So good, like how good? How good, Cameron? I mean, there is no list for Tennis One. There's no backlog here, you know that. We got Metroid Dread probably pretty soon. Which we are way late to the party on, but I'm sure it'll be fun to watch me get frustrated on that one. I hear it's pretty challenging. 10 out of 10. Wow, okay, Cameron, that is a. That is very high praise. I, I am interested. Alright, yeah, we gotta clear this area out first before... This next part is like the most difficult part of getting to the, the rune over there, the lake rune. Because there are lots of doggos in the way. What's the game you bounced off the hardest? I don't... That's a really good question. It sounds like a question that I've had before, too, and I probably had an answer for it. No, I'm trying to think. Like, certainly, if I don't like a game and I'm not obligated to play it, I, I just stop playing. I'll never, like, force myself to play through a game if I'm not having fun. Obviously, different rules for stream goals and stuff like that. Some some people would, would, would have you believe that, Jeff, yes. A game I reviewed that I had high hopes for but was let down. I've been so lucky with reviews, Exit Dust, that since I get to... Uh, previously being the PC editor, I got to pick and choose a lot of my reviews. So, highly curated stuff that I was, you know, pretty expectant that they were going to be good anyway. So I get to, you know, I, I've been very lucky in that respect. I don't know. Some of the game, I guess, there was a Double Dragon game that sucked that I played, but I didn't have any expectations for it. Hatred, I gave a bad score, but again, didn't have any real expectations for it. Um, Heroes of Might and Magic 7, maybe? Although, again, at that point in the series, didn't really have any expectations for it, so... I think I'm pretty good at tempering my... Co Code Vein? I mean, I didn't really have any expectations for Code Vein. So... Exit Dust is asking for something that I had expectations for. Code Vein did go lower than I thought it was going to, though. Yeah. But... I, I wasn't expecting it to reinvent the wheel, especially with all that preview stuff that we got to do. I wasn't expecting it to be great. In fact, Code Vein may have been better than I thought it was going to be.
like a dragon? I didn't... Ha you can't say that I bounced off like a dragon when we put, like, a hundred hours into it. <laughs> I mean... That's just reaching a critical mass of playtime and having other things that we want to play on stream, really. Mass Effect 3? I didn't bounce off of that. Uh, but I... You know, famously, I, I'm not as into Mass Effect as a lot of other people in this industry. Final Fantasy 15? Yep, I bounced off of that. Sure, that counts, K-Dubs. Good call. I don't know. I wouldn't call it bouncing off of, though. I, I didn't like it, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> I mean, is that, is, that, is that what a bounce off is? If that's what a bounce off is, then yes. Final Fantasy 15 is a good example. Team Kayla, yeah, of course. This is this. Uh, Team Kayla, Bloodborne is one of my favorite games. Uh, possibly my favorite game of all time, but uh, I think that's going to change with Elden Ring. Fairly certain of it. Also, hi, Team Kayla. Yeah, Final Fantasy. We can, we can say Final Fantasy 15. I mean, I bounced off Dark Souls the first time I played it, folks. That's a story I've only told a thousand times. Okay. We didn't pretend this one is true. We bounced off of it at 100 hours, which is a lot different than me saying, wow, Final Fantasy XV is a game that I do not enjoy, and I'm going to stop playing this. And I think it's bad. Which is very different than Like a Dragon being 90 hours long and, you know, just stopping after 80. Okay? Uh, oh, another good one that I also did that to was uh, Persona Persona 5. I got like 90 hours in and didn't finish. You need to know what made me bounce off Final Fantasy 15? I, I despise the game. I, I think it's a very bad game. Um, I don't like it. I appreciate it if that people like it. I'm glad that people like things. I, I think it's an awful game. In almost every respect. Story, gameplay, mechanics, yes, all of the above. Uh, pretend just one I'm aware. Maybe if P P5 comes to um, PC, we'll play it. I scare. I, I, I'm a scary guy. Exit. I don't expect you to agree with me, by the way. I don't. I don't force my beliefs on anybody. I can only tell you what I thought about something. I can't tell you what you thought about something. Above all, though, I, I, I would like it if every game was awesome and enjoyable to everybody. But that is not the case, because people have different tastes. So, P5 is enjoyed in parts. I agree with this statement. However, um, once I stop playing a giant JRPG... I cannot go back without restarting it. And that's a big ask. Like, if I'm if I go like two weeks, like if I'm playing P5, which is what happened, and then I got put on a review assignment and I had to really get into it. So I just didn't have time for any kind of like extraneous gaming. Uh the next time I looked at the clock, it was two weeks later. And despite my Despite the fact that I was having a blast with P5, um, I was like, well, I don't have the context of where I was. I don't, I just don't know, and I'm just not going to go back. Oh, well, which I think is very different than bouncing off a game because you don't enjoy it. So we got different kinds of uh, realities here. I mean, CRPGs, I think, they're the same way. Vorpal, I'm glad we have different... I agree! I like having my opinions challenged. I like that everybody's got different opinions. I'm not ever going to sit here and say, my opinion is the only right opinion. Um, and above all, like I always say, if I don't like a game and you like it, please, God, continue liking it. Like things! I am not the, you know, despite, 
I am not the arbiter of all taste. I do hope that I can bring cool games and cool experiences to people that may not have typically enjoyed them. It's something I always try to do. Um, but at the same time, I'm not gonna, I, I never tell people to like force the thing that they're not enjoying. That's just silly. Really? Yeah, so exit. Again, I agree. I think that's great. See, Erlen likes Final Fantasy XV. And me and Erlen usually get along. We just really disagree on Final Fantasy XV. I know, I know, Noise, I'm right. Can't even pull the gun out with the two handed, you know. Hey, we chose this for the New Year's weapon, okay? So. We're gonna maintain it until we get. Log wheel or pizza pizza. Besides, I gotta challenge myself a little, right? This will make the run more interesting, I think. But yeah, hunters will tear you apart when you don't have the same kind of like carry gunship. Uh, hammer really only has one thing you can do with it, right? So. If you play Final Fantasy XV like a hangout in a road trip game, you can have a blast. Listen, pretend just one. If you like it, like it. I'm not telling you not to like it. I, too, enjoy a cup of noodles. Just call me Luna Freya Noctis. Uh... Yay! Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Housekeeping, yeah. Bless us with blood. 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 I was hoping for some twin stone shards, but we'll take it. And I don't think we can actually proceed this way any further at this time. I think we need to find the, the tonsil stone or something, right? Yo, I'm so hyped for Elden Ring, you have no idea. <clears throat> it cannot be relayed in words. Okay, yeah, but if you've already got 200 hours in something, I don't call it a bounce off. At that point, you're just... You're just moving on. Right? I don't know, we can, we can argue semantics here all day. about Elden Ring. Don't, do not worry about Elden Ring. <clears throat> Azel, please have a great day, and thank you so much for the message you sent me earlier. Listen, if there's one thing you don't have to worry about, it's Elden Ring, okay? Trust me.
What's bounce off territory? I, you know, presented this one, we've never identified what bounce off is, right? But I wouldn't consider me bouncing off Persona or bouncing off like a dragon. Just because I stopped playing them after 70 hours. I, like I said, I got a thing where if I don't... If I'm into a long JRPG and I stop playing for like a week, then that's it, right? It's just like I can't get back into it. Even if I was having a great time. I don't consider it a bounce off. You can. We, we, can, argue, we can argue what a bounce off is. Uh... Why don't we even define a bounce off is? I think I think about when I think of a bounce off, I think it's a nice way to say that you didn't like the game, so you stopped playing it, or you couldn't get into it. I don't know. I think once you've hit the 200 hour point exit, we're way past bounce off territory. But I don't know. It's there's no guaranteed metric, right? We're we're defining it. We're creating our own definition for bounce off right now. Welcome. What is very well then? Oh. oh man, dude, my link keeps flickering. I, is my HDMI cable screwed up or something? All right, hang on, folks. I'll be right back. I'm going to try something.
Well, I, th I think I broke it. Um, wow. What else could go wrong today? Hello? Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think... I think it's screwed. Um, <laughs> I don't... I just tried to fix it so it wouldn't flicker on my screen. And now I cannot get it to work again. The, the Elgato is being non-responsive. I swear, it's just, uh, today has been cursed on every single possible level. I mean, yes, I'll get, of course I did exit dust, yes. I mean, it's a good joke, a good joke. I, I too enjoy that TV series. I seriously have no idea what's wrong with it right now. <clears throat> Everything should be plugged in correctly. I I'm sorry, Burnettis One. I don't know what the issue is. That's a great idea, Nuisance. Great idea. Uh, let me try one more thing here. Okay, I'm just not going to touch it anymore. Okay, that was grass on first, by the way. Pretend it's when we are back. We are back. Uh, I'm sorry. Anything I missed, I'm sorry, but I, you know, sometimes things get very. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. It's not my lucky day. That's okay. We're getting rid of all this stuff on day one of the new year, right? Getting all of it out of the system. High seeds. Sorry, I, exit I was gone for a while, so I don't know what the question was. 
I mean, it's not just an, I wish it was just an HDMI cable. But with the Elgato, it's a whole... It's a whole thing. I wish it was just as simple as plugging a thing in. Hi, big boss. What's up? What the heck happened in what regard? There's been so many different things today that I... We have multiple things. It's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that, okay? It's fine. That chapter is over. Well, when I'm streaming from when I'm streaming from sources that are not my PC, we have to go through an external device called an Elgato. And if its connections are not working correctly, then you don't get to see a picture. That is the simple way to explain what's, what was going on. Sadly, we cannot stream Bloodborne natively from PC. I should have done Bloodstar Beast first. Or you know what? I should have done upgraded my freaking weapon. I didn't do that. What a dummy I am. Now we're gonna be out of vials. That's alright, we gotta get vials, yo. Stuck in the corner. Uh, well, we're gonna need vials, but more importantly, I probably would have won that fight if I would have upgraded my weapon first, which I didn't. Anyway, big boss. Uh, yeah. So for those not familiar with streaming, if you're gonna stream from your console and not natively from your console, you gotta connect through something called an. Usually, you gotta connect through an auxiliary device. Um. A lot of us use what's known as an Elgato, so it connects the HDMI. It connects. It connects the console to uh, the PC so that it can stream from it. But obviously, if those connections aren't working, you end up with a screen like you saw earlier. Hi, Water Shredder. What's up? We have been plagued with issues today, of varying degrees. Including my lunch literally being eaten by a dog. Uh, no, nuisance, I am just so not ready to f to to finicky to like you know try to finesse with something right now I, I got a move ahead of me 
and I just, yeah, eventually I, I might try to find some other better solutions. I, I typically I stream from the PC, so it's easy. Happy New Year, Water Shooter. I the Kerr camera I think is actually a pretty terrible weapon, but I have gotten used to it, uh, and other heavy weapons in the game. We do need to get some blood vials, though, if we're going to try again. Or we could go do Bloodstar Beast, which is the canonical route. But typically, I can beat Amelia earlier. I'm just underperforming. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, exit. Well, I'm using an, an Elgato, so, like, it's a whole connection thing. I can't wait for the new nightmare when I move and I have to get my entire setup done again. Uh, in February, no less. No, like I said, the Kirk camera makes things more interesting. It'll be a more interesting playthrough with more texture since I'm using a, a more difficult weapon. I forget who mandated the Kirk Hammer during um, the New Year's stream, but they, they to the honor goes to them. This place is great for blood vial farming, by the way, if you haven't been here. See, I got four vials off that one guy. Eventually, you get to the point in the game where you don't need to farm blood vials, but there is definitely a early and mid segment where you probably are going to need some unless you beat every boss in the first try. And there's nothing really wrong with blood vial farming. It is a lot like grass farming in Demon Souls, which everybody has done. But I do prefer an SS. What I actually like is the combination of the two, uh, which was used in Dark Souls 2. Where you had both life gems and Estus. And I am sorry to everyone who came in during that error screen. Uh, now at least I know not to mess with it. So that when we get to tonight's stream we can have a... Uh, no interruptions hopefully. If we play Bloodborne tonight. We also have Final Fantasy Integrate available. Your favorite Blood Vial loop is the first lamp to the... Yeah, that is a classic one. I think this one is better, actually. I think the Witch's Abode one just gives more, because you get... Those big dudes can drop like four vials a pop. And as a bonus, I think you get lots more blood echoes this way, which you can also turn into blood vials. Like, the big dudes drop a pretty significant amount of souls, which you can also turn into vials, right? Even on the times you don't get three, four blood vials and you get a gem instead or something. It would, of course, be a lot faster if you didn't have to go to the Hunter's Dream through every every route, which is another quibble, right? Stuck on trees is so 2021. Can we just not do that in 2022? Thanks. 
sadly, I had to, you know, I have to expend blood vials too to, to beat these guys. Which I shouldn't be. But, uh, you know, as stated, today's not my day. Yo, yeah, where's Leaf? I got that dumb movie he recommended to me. Of course you could ex exit dust, but you can't use a gun while you're willing when you're using the, the Kirk hammer in in 2H mode. And ironically, I think it scales differently in 1H mode because it's a sword. It's a very it's a very silly weapon. But yes, you can parry them. Oh, it does look cool. You think this looks cool? The weapons in this game look cooler than... You know, there's all kinds of weapons and, and weapon diversity in the Souls games. There are a lot less weapons in... Bloodborne, but the weapons that are there are way more stylish than your average, you know, Black Knight Hellbird that you find in a Souls game. What do you think? Should we do Bloodstar Beast or should we try Amelia again? Do I have any, um, f you know, for the first few bosses in this game, if you've got oil and fire, Makes things a lot easier. Maybe we'll do some Chalice Dungeons on this run. What do you think about that? That's something we usually don't do on runs, because it takes forever to get through those. That's not even fun. Pretend this one get out of here. And if I do, if I do lose Pretendous 1, it's just because I'm sick and I'm using the Kirk Hammer. I might do, you know, Nuisance, I might actually do it. It's been a long time. I've only actually killed Queen once. Because I thought the, ch the Chalice Dungeons are a pain in the ass. In fact, I thought the Chalice Dungeons were a negative. People always wonder why I gave the game a 975, not a 10. Well, I thought the Chalice Dungeons were cool to add, you know, a bit of artificial longevity, if you will. Um, wow, can you stop? Um, I did not, I did not think their ultimate execution was that interesting. But it's cool that they experiment. I think From likes to experiment with things, and I, I commend that. And I think that they eventually get... No, no way, Pretendous 1. The DLC in this game is amazing. In fact, the DLC in all From Software games tends to be the best part of the entire game. The DLC is where they let it all out. The core game is the core game. But I would say, in every scenario, the DLC in a From Software game is better than the base game. Without exception. Yeah, exactly, Exit. Yeah, but everything is way more... It's, it's for players who want to go the extra... To do all the extra stuff, right? Like, the kid gloves are off. Leaf, I bought your dumb thing. So I'm gonna maybe watch it between the breaks, between the afternoon stream and the evening stream, if I feel good enough. In bed, probably. No, I haven't watched it yet, but I did get it. It's three hours. Who ever heard of a horror movie that's three hours long? <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> All right, we need a few more blood vials. What is it? Very well. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. I I have not seen it yet, Ravenna. I'm looking for a few good blood vials here. And then maybe, we'll, I guess we'll go do BSB. Although I absolutely hate the run through that zone. Pan's Labyrinth the horror movie? The answer to that question is yes. Thank you for the question, pretentious one. I'm just saying, long run times are not common for horror movies. There are exceptions. <clears throat> Pan's Labyrinth is a horror movie. Don't believe anybody that tells you different, which is fun. If they remastered the game, I mean, I would like to have Estus in the game instead of shards, but I don't want them to change that. If they if they remaster the game, just just remaster the game. Give me 60 frames. Um, one of the minor changes I would make, which we we talked about earlier, nuisance, is that you so you would not have to go back to Hunter's Dream to, yes, redo the bonfire stuff. Correct. Like this run right here, just if you're, if I'm still gonna have to farm blood vials, at least make it so I can just pop on a lamp and go right back to it, right, without having to go back to Hunter's Dream, because that's a pain in the ass. So that would be a remaster change, I think, because that doesn't change the gameplay, and I'm okay with that, right? Sixty frames, obviously. All right, let's go do BSB. Let's go do the BSB route. Very well, let me. Demon Souls on PS5. Demon Souls on PS5 is great. I scored that game very high. I thought Blue Point did a great job with it. Well, Exit Dust. It's just that there's no, there's essentially no load times in Demon Souls Remake, which makes. All that stuff, like repopping the farm and all that kind of thing, uh, a lot more palatable. Like one of the most popular grass farming spots in the game, you can do in like 10 seconds now. Whereas in the first, it would have taken a long time because of load times and everything. And that does make a difference. It really does. You there, you there. Hunter. Hunter. Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men. Now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those of us. Turn back. For the hunter will face the hunt. Ooh, now you're talking my language.
Well, exit, you know, you don't have to go this way. Obviously, there is an alternate path through this area. Uh, my first playthrough, I did do this area in the canonically correct order. Now I rarely go through this area at all. Um, I take the back door into here if I have to come here at all. If I want to do the Chalice Dungeon. So. I find this sort of like run through, this environmental challenge to be not to my liking. That's what Miyazaki would call it, right? An environmental challenge. But hey, at least it's not a poison swamp. No love for Blight Town. I mean, Blight Town, I skip on all my DS1 runs. I mean, that's why that's why Miyazaki put the key in the game, right? So you wouldn't have to go there. This one, how, come on, have you not seen me play this game before? The, there's a hunter with a Gatling gun up on a roof who will uh, attack you pretty mercilessly without, with, through this area. And, uh, yeah, that's who shoots you. And basically that's the environmental challenge of the zone, besides the enemies, which are nasty enough in their own right. This man right here. That's the correct way to beat him, by the way. Just knock him right off. <laughs> Don't put up with any of his BS. Especially if you're using the Kirk Hammer. Uh, because you're not going to be able to parry him, right? Without Unless you pull out your gun. Uh, I believe that if we come back to the zone, we'll get his badge, too. But I think we have to, like, go back up there or something. No, no, Pretendous One. But now we don't have to worry about him shooting us, okay? Which is the more important part. It makes maneuvering through the zone uh, really annoying to have to hide behind walls around, you know, all the time. With him constantly shooting at you. So, so killing him is very important when you get through the zone. Like, these critters, they're already a problem. I mean, I greatly recommend removing the hunter if you're gonna... If you're gonna go through this zone and not just use the back door, you kill the hunter. Otherwise, it's just a pain in the ass. Which is why we did it.
you know, you know, nuisance, we might, we could. Ut W18 says, just listen to the most recent GI show. I have already pre-ordered Elden Ring, but it got me influencing more hype now. Damn. Um, just wait till you find out what I have to, you know. I, I think... Yes. Um, I rarely... I, I don't really like pre-game hype a lot. I like post-game hype. In the case of Elden Ring... I am okay and on board with it. I, I believe that Elden Ring will be one of the best games of the last decade, possibly of all time. And I believe it will be From Software's best game, and it will not be close. That's because I don't. I do not speak of upcoming titles in that way. I think, generally, it's not a good idea to have pre-game hype. Only after the, the product is out there and we can evaluate it in its entirety. However, uh, Elden Ring is going to be very special. And I am very okay with what I've said about it. Uh, I think that Elden Ring... I mean... Poof. Uh, yes. Elden Ring. I bet we'll see some more about that game before release. Since we've only got a month to go. But yeah, hey, thanks, Ut, and I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I think some aspects of Elden Ring will make the game uh, more palatable to an audience that is not the traditional From Software audience. Obviously, they've already got all of us right on board. I, I think that there's a good case to be made that more players will come to enjoy it. I think the difficulty level will remain... Ex the challenge level will remain extremely high. Um, so I don't think players need to be worried about that. But I also think that because it is an open world experience, that players won't get frustrated if they can't get past a certain boss barrier because they can go and do a hundred other things. More on that, you know, in the future probably. Um, no, thank, thank you, Ut. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Glad you found the stream. And again, I don't think I ever hype up a game like I have for this one. Uh, I, I consider it all very justified based on my experiences with the game. Double jump for the win in ER? Yes, on horseback you can double jump in Elden Ring. All right, where is the shortcut in this town? I always I always forget it. Cuz I don't ever come this way, right? I always use the back door. We got to get that shortcut before we do the BS. The BS to the B. Oh boy. That was not prudent. You don't want to mess with these guys. Oh, yes, that's right. Thank you, Exit. Uh, I don't think you need to be concerned with how big the map is. I think you should be more concerned about... 
all the stuff that is on the map to discover and explore, but... You know, that's something I don't think they've revealed yet. I, I think the last thing you should be concerned about in an open world game is how big the map is. And that's not a slam at you, pretentious one. I just think that if you're just going for map size, then that that's an irrelevant thing. Like, who cares how big the map is? You should care about what things are on the map to do and to explore. Who gives a crap how big it is if it's just a bunch of wide open space, right? With some Ubisoft towers. Correct. Now we're talking about things that, uh, yes. Nuisance, I, uh, completely concur with you here. How much of the map did I get to explore? That's a great question. Uh, I don't think anyone has the answer to that yet. <clears throat> Based on my own assessment of the area that we explored, I would say a very small portion of the map. I'm sure they'll reveal more of like the scope and scale of the map as we get closer to release, because I'm sure a lot of people T-Bomb have that same kind of question. <clears throat> I think from a marketing perspective, since a lot of people do want to know how big the world is, that is one aspect that they will probably um, discuss more. I mean, yeah, hey, I've been... If you've seen me talk about games before, which, I, if you're on this channel, I assume you have. If not, welcome. Like, share, subscribe, follow. Uh, if you've heard me talk about games before, you know that I don't speak of games in terms like I do Elden Ring. Ever. Prior to release. I think it's dangerous sometimes. Uh, with this particular title, I do not feel that way. I think it's going to... I think it's going to blow people's minds. Why would I exit? Why would I? What am I speaking of? Did I hype that game up? I don't think I did. Oh. I gotcha. No, I got it. I, I figured it out, Exit. I got you now. Look at that. Lorge Flaming Hammer. Slow poisoning. Seems pretty fast to me.
remember, if Miyazaki puts pillars in a room, they're put there with purpose. What is my compass for Pokemon Legends? I... Danny, we talked about this a little earlier. I do not feel that cautious optimism is correct for the Pokemon brand currently. I feel like that game is going to disappoint the hell out of me. Um, I haven't played it. <laughs> uh, but I am not optimistic about it at all. I probably will play it because despite knowing better, I have attempted to play all the latest Pokemon stuff. We played through Sword and Shield on stream. I was incredibly disappointed with them. Those games bore the hell out of me. I hope people enjoy them. For me, I found a lot more satisfaction in other modern creature collectors, such as Serum Ultimate, Shimagami Tensei 5, and Monster Hunter Stories 2. Those games offer me a more compelling experience. And then I know someone in chat is going to come at me and say, Dan, the Pokemon games are made for kids. You old man, of course you don't like it. All right. Okay. <laughs> but those are my thoughts. Uh, you plan to play today, Marks? February looks like a big month. There's a lot of big months. I think people, I think some stuff will get delayed next year for sure. Just to move things around a little bit. Very well, let me. Exit Dust, it's an excuse used by those who are still like, I, I swear, people have Stockholm Syndrome when it comes to Pokemon. And I don't blame them. Pokemon is, is, is literally the most powerful IP in the world. Pokemon is more recognizable than Mickey Mouse and McDonald's. And Star Wars. It is a immensely powerful, all-encompassing brand that has plenty of defenders who would defend anything, and I get it. As for my point, I have become jaded over the last decade of, of lackluster Pokemon titles, and that's where my approach is now. We'll probably play Arceus on stream and, uh, and analyze it together. Hi, Barry. How are you doing? I said the stream was only going to be two hours, but since we did have the delay... Um, with the Elgato, I'm going to put a bonus 30 on the clock. And then we'll probably play it again tonight, so just come back later for more Bloodborne. You know, what up? Is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 a monster collector? No, it is not. It's not a hate play, Barry. I want to like it. That's what you don't understand. I want to like it. People don't get that. I don't ever go into a game. I would never load a game up saying, wow, I can't wait to just take a crap on this. Nobody... That's not, a, that's not any way to play a game. Why waste your time with something you're not going to like? I want to like it. Okay, Final Fantasy XIII. That, that's something I've already played, though. That's a known quantity, Tetsudo. Alright. We could do some Chalice Dungeons... Purple stuff, Sunny D. Do I, I want to hate play Chrono Cross? No, I don't. I don't like Chrono Cross. But when they remaster slash remake it, we'll probably play it. Uh, well, with a little yarn and blood of your own. Do you think that when I loaded up Final Fantasy 13, I was hate playing it the first time I played it? No, I wasn't. I said, please, God, make this better than Final Fantasy XII. Please. The, the second time... Yes, Shaz, the second time is a different story, right? <clears throat> hey, Malak, what's up? Man, everybody's showing up for the daytime stream today. What's up with that? You 
You like 13 more than 12. I might like... No, no. I can't. I can't bring myself to like 13 more than 12. Prime, I'm only... We're live for another 30. This is the... This is the appetizer for tonight's stream, okay? Come back tonight. You just got back home from Michigan. I was also in Michigan. Recently. I hope you didn't have to go to the airport like I did, because... God. I got something at that airport. I just hope it's not something something really bad. We're, we're gonna play it, Seeds. We're gonna play it right here on this channel. We're gonna experience it together. I'll foot the bill. You'll get thoughts from Dan live. Uh, yeah, Malik, but it's not supposed to take effect. It's got like an incubation period, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna lie down after the stream. Try to find some food because my food was robbed of me today. I lost a good amount. I'm I'm still upset about that. Like, I'm over it, but I'm not over it. Like, how rude do you have to be to just like run away after it too? Like, if it was me, I would like to think that I would stay there and at least apologize. Malk, yeah, I, I... I saw the dog and owner out of the corner of my eye when... When I opened my door. But they were turned in the corner and, you know, they were gone. They made a speedy retreat. Beep boop, hi, Croc. Report it to the building management? What's that gonna do? We have a list of dog owners, sure. Hey, I'm only here for like another month. Literally. I'm moving. It's another thing we gotta do. Uh Great news that's not great news, Croc. It's gonna be very stressful. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, busy that weekend. Yeah. No cap, FRFR. I am moving. No, it doesn't mean GI. I'm moving to be closer to the new GI office, big boss. If I was leaving GI, I would tell you that I was leaving GI. Please, God, we have enough. We have enough people who actually leave GI without needing to start rumors in that area. Please. All right, Exit Dust. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, no, I'm moving so that I can be closer to the new GI office. Which is now pretty far from my current location, which I selected because of its proximity to the old GI office. <clears throat> and yes, my groceries were destroyed today. Yeah, I miss Kyle every day, Big Boss. All right, I miss all. I miss a lot of people from from old school GI. Uh, anyway, yeah, basically the dude's dog had his way with my groceries, and then they ran away. <laughs> That's the thing that actually happened in real life. Yeah, Malik. Well, maybe, you know, I also have a feeling. I have a feeling there's going to be a really good Game Informer issue coming up. I don't know why I get that feeling. But I have that feeling. He did not. He yelled at the dog. I could hear the yelling at the dog. Send this one because I'm sick and I didn't want to go out for groceries, so I, I ordered delivery. And basically I had to toss them all. I'm really disappointed about that. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. 
Danny, I, th I, I, well, I don't think we'll see that franchise again. Uh, because there is some affiliation with the franchise, but I, I, I don't doubt that we see something in that area. If you get my drift. Formless Odeon. <clears throat> Purple is a fruit. <clears throat> and no, it wasn't dog food that he that he attacked. Come on, guys. Blood gem fortification. Ooh, foremost. Oh, higher quicksilver bullet. Well, that's really useful for us since we can't use them. Pretendous one. Those are out there if you're looking for them. Okay, we got to get ready to wrap up the afternoon stream here. Wait, was there no follow notification? I just saw thanks for the follow thing. Did I somehow mess up notifications? Man, today is just... Anyway, thanks for the follow. It didn't beep, I don't know why. It should have. You didn't watch it. You know, Malik never watches me play anything. Basically, if, a game, if I played a 20 year old game here, Malk wouldn't show up because of spoilers. Like, oh, you're playing, uh. Super Mario World? Well, you know, hey. Spoilers. Alright, Malk. Fair, fair. Fair. This is a bonus stream, though. You gotta show up for the actual stream tonight. Well, so where... What the hell? Why didn't my thing go off? My stream alert should have gone off for the follow. I don't know why it didn't. Hmm. That's messed up. It is Prime, yes. Yeah. 
large hammer. Not large enough, huh? It takes a lot to stagger her. She is a large queen. That was a ballsy play. Stupid one. Oh, she's doing the heel. Normally that's a good spot to hit her with fireballs and stuff, but... Looking good. I had her down earlier, but I kind of choked. Great Rune, hello. Has it been a long time? Welcome. Uh, indeed. Nice. Indeed. You were able to get back into Bravely Default and see what succeed. You are now in Chapter 5. You got a long way to go, but... Bravely Default 2 is pretty formulaic. I think you'll, I think you'll have great success. How does Bloodborne feel after Elden Ring? Uh, my prediction is that Elden Ring will be... From software's best game, and it will not be close. I have come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. Maybe, Melk, maybe. A form of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone. <clears throat> I do think Elden Ring will easily surpass Bloodborne's quality, which I do not say lightly. Let's take my leave. I think you'll find that to be the case, Great Rune. Hey, if Breath of the Wild 2 comes out this year too, hey, that's another that, that sounds great to me. Let's do it. I would uh I would love to play another great game. High expectations for that one as well. Very well then. I think Curse of the Wild will be will be high quality as well. Um and looking forward to playing that. For sure. A 
Yeah, this isn't the place. Is combat in Elden Ring slower than Bloodborne? It is, uh... Well, obviously it depends on your spec. Uh, Great Rune. I would say it's around DS3 style combat speed. Quite fast. But magic is very good. Uh, Big Boss... Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow night. I mean, tonight. Tonight. And In fact, I should probably end the stream soon so I that we can get going it. this evening. Hey, Crom, thank you so much for the sub. 39 months. Appreciate the sub. Yeah, that's right, Malik. You got it. Uh, I appreciate the sub, Crom Watch. Thank you. Did I fight the Nazgul enemy? Oh, listen. Listen. Great rune. We're going to have a lot to talk about about Elden Ring, I have no doubt, in the future. Um, you're speaking of one of the enemies that comes out at night. Uh, a Night Rider. A Black Rider. Yes, I, I, have, I have certainly seen a lot of really cool things in that game, and... I think that there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff in there for players to discover. We can talk more about that tonight. I'm trying to wrap things up here. But I will be back this evening for more Bloodborne. And of course, there's always room for Elden Ring chat. Yeah. Did Elden Ring rip off Ring Race? Uh, no, but obviously Lord of the Rings has been a big, a big inspiration for Miyazaki in general. As is quite famous, you know, Miyazaki's interpretation of Western fantasy with his own lens, being unable to entirely interpret English in the early years was one of the main selling points of his creation of his sort of iteration of dark fantasy. Of course, you're talking about, uh, yes. I, I think people are really going to like Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring will be the best game of the last ten years. Possibly the best game of all time. It, I think it will be superior to Bloodborne. And I think it will be From Software's best game. We are going to start wrapping things up right now. If you're here for Bloodborne, feel free to come back tonight. Let me continue this playthrough. Yeah, I haven't seen Zellers in a while. I mean, Great Rune, that's always kind of been from software's design, right? They always, they always iterate and learn on what they've already created. I believe this one will really surprise people, though. I hope you do stop by tonight, Siege, and thank you for coming. I'm glad you got to watch in the stream. I'm sorry about the Elgato issues earlier. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. You wonder if all those zones will be similar in high quality? What if all those zones are even better in high quality, Great Rune? What about that? Did you think of that? What if the zone that we saw was like, you know, the baseline? The most average... It's supposed to be like, you know, the starter area. What if? Just saying. <clears throat> You have a raid idea, Kessadrin. Malk, what do you? What? Do, all right. I like Malk's raid ideas. Kessadrin hasn't been here in a long time, but 
Okay, Malk, you got it. Do I want to hear your wish for Elden Ring? Sure. Before we before you wrap up, will I play Elden Ring on PS5? No. When I play Elden Ring here the, on the stream, I hesitate. We will be playing it on PC. The review copy will probably be on PS5. Yeah, I would guess that's generally how it goes. But I'm gonna. I hope it's not. I hope it's PC. Anyway. Yeah. Well, great rune. D Squad is the best community on the internet. Don't know if you know that. Thanks, Croc. 174. For the croc. All right, we're not gonna do Forbidden Woods now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. I need to lay down, and you know, get stuff ready for the evening stream. Uh, but let's hear your wish for ER first, and we'll raid Kessadrin. What is Kessadrin even playing? Go Dorda. I mean, I used. I, I really need to do that. I do need to acquire food somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it. You want them to do a super hard poison swamp? Well, I don't... <laughs> I, I think you're going to be just fine there. I don't think you're going out on a limb saying they're going to do a poison swamp. Wait, what is that, Mal? I don't even know what that is. Fingers crossed for a larger than life animal. I think every th I think people are going to be very impressed with Elden Ring. I know the dog's name. I'm not going to reveal it here because I don't want people to like try to track the person down. But I don't know the person's name, but I do know the dog's name. Because it was screamed a lot before the person ran. I'm glad they ruined all my groceries, though. That was really nice of them. Great way to start an afternoon. Dog name is dog. I'll tell you this. I'm only. I'm gonna tell you this. The the dog's name began with a G. Great rune. I like high strength builds. In this game, I actually don't. In this game, I think faster weapons are my fa are favored. But in generally, if, if we're talking about souls, I like really heavy clubs. Uh, not in Bloodborne though. In Bloodborne, it's kind of, we're doing a kind of a, uh, theme run. Strength weapon, I, they're, they're going to feel very similar to Souls, Great Rune, in that regard. I think people who are expecting just Dark Souls 4, though, are going to be shocked. All right, we are stopping this stream as soon as I get my souls back here, or I die. So this is your what two-minute warning. Great rune. You should expect, as I stated, Elden Ring is essentially a culmination of, of lessons they've learned from all of their previous games. So it has pieces of all that stuff. Should you watch gameplay? That's up to you. I know a lot of people want to go in completely, completely unknown. It will be out next month. Which is kind of wild and awesome. Am I right? Yeah, I think I am. Fear the old blood. You think Elden Ring will be a flop? Man. That's a bold a bold prediction, Prime. Let's see how it works out for you. Oh yeah. Great rune, you have no idea. You really have no idea. Anybody that thinks they have an idea, they don't. Elden Ring is going to be gaming greatness on a new level.
and obviously will be streamed here. Yeah, it's true, there are runes in Elden Ring. I mean, God of War is much later in the year, and the same people who review... It is very rare to have the same reviewer on a Souls game and a God of War game, depending on the outlet. Could happen. But if we're talking about Metacritic scores, it's largely irrelevant since different people will be reviewing those products. Alright. Malkior says we gotta raid Kessadrin. Can you type the name in chat again, Malk, so I can copy and paste it? I don't know how to spell it. And we were we are going to be back this evening with more Bloodborne. Thank you, Melk. Great rune. They are they start the same time every night. I have the schedule right there. Why do I make a schedule? Nobody ever reads it. 8 p.m. CST every night. Great rune. Under normal circumstances. I, great jokes. Listen, hey, I'm giving Malk this raid. A moderator has selected the raid target, so be nice. Um, moderator Malk, we see him for about a good five minutes every every uh, every month. Anyway, we'll be back tonight with more Bloodborne fam. So uh, come hang out, have a blast, and we'll see you then. Oh, Elden Ring. I, I know Prime, hey, at least he comes by, right? Like, you know, a wise streamer once told me, never make anybody a mod because they'll never come back again. <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody. Now it's Ryan time. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'll see you tonight. I'll be back in approximately four hours. God, I hope I have food. Okay, bye. <laughs>